Greetings, everyone. Dreaded on here. <coughs> As some of you might know, I've recently had some trouble with YouTube's content evaluation system. I'll get to the full story in a minute, but essentially it boils down to my videos being declared inappropriate when there's nothing inappropriate in them. This stops the videos earning any money, which is obviously a bit of a bummer, but more importantly it seems to place some sort of restriction on the video where it gets seen by fewer people, which can be especially deflating for something you might have spent quite a lot of time working on. Just for a quick rundown on how the system is supposed to work, when you start uploading a video, YouTube automatically runs two checks on it. One for copyrighted content, and one for inappropriate content. If the copyrighted content check fails, then the impact in your video is usually that you'll have to share revenue with the copyright holder. In my experience, it hasn't been tremendously unfair, although I have seen other creators complain about corporate entities who don't hold the copyright to something claiming that they do, and YouTube being unhelpful in getting it sorted out. With the inappropriate content check, if the video fails it, YouTube systems will place a flag on your video where it won't earn any money from ads and will be shown to fewer people, indicated by this little yellow dollar sign of doom. You can appeal this decision if you think it's a mistake, and the process claims to be manual, as in done by an actual human person, but for reasons we'll get into in a minute, I don't think that's true. At least, not all of the time. The outcome of the manual review can either be a confirmation that your video didn't contain inappropriate content, and then the automatic process made a mistake, or that it did contain inappropriate content and the restriction is upheld. This can have an unfortunate impact on your account standing, as it lowers the accuracy rating of your self-evaluation, and seems to cause the automatic checks to run more strictly in the future. My problems in earnest started when I put up my latest video. I started the upload process late on Sunday night with the intention of letting the checks run, appealing if necessary, and then uploading the video the following Friday, giving me the whole week to get any problems sorted out. The checks were over unusually fast considering the length of the video, and had found it to contain inappropriate content, which I disagreed with. I appealed for a manual review, and this is where things get a little weird. Usually in my experience manual review takes a day or two, which lends credence to the idea that it's a manual process, but this time, the results of the manual review came back very quickly, within half an hour, on a Sunday night. Hmm. It was claimed that my video was accurately deemed inappropriate, and that specifically it had violated YouTube's rule of containing profanity within the first 5 to 17 seconds. This wasn't true. There was no profanity in the video at all. I contacted YouTube support on Twitter, and they were pretty unhelpful. They got me to upload the video, which was predictably seen by almost nobody and then ceased communication with me until I deleted the video, discovered what the problem was myself, and re-uploaded it. Only then did they tell me that they'd made a mistake, and uh, I wasn't impressed. It was suggested to me that YouTube's manual review is actually done by a bot scanning the automatically generated captions for your video, which in my case is complicated by all the various weird filters and accents I use for my characters. I've looked at the automatically generated captions for a lot of my videos, and none of them are even close to being accurate. In this particular case, it seems the automatic captions had misunderstood the word folks as the F word about 5 seconds into the video, matching up with the rule they claimed I violated. So I just edited the word out, uploaded the video, and it was fine. Now I don't want to seem unreasonable or anything, I completely understand why these processes are automated. Such a massive volume of content is uploaded to YouTube every single day that it just wouldn't be feasible to have them being evaluated by real people 24-7. But they shouldn't be calling the process a manual review when it clearly isn't, at least not all of the time. And the problem isn't necessarily that the process is automatic, it's that it just doesn't work. So to demonstrate that it doesn't work, let's do some math. Out of the last 50 videos I've uploaded, 20 have been monetized immediately without being flagged as inappropriate at all. Of the remaining 30, 27 were flagged as inappropriate and had that decision reversed after manual review. Two were flagged as inappropriate, had that decision upheld after manual review, but after contacting YouTube directly, they determined the manual review had been mistaken and they reversed the decision themselves. And one was deemed inappropriate, uh, fairly, in my opinion. So, at least with regards to my channel, YouTube's automatic systems for identifying inappropriate content have a 42% success rate. In other words, it works as intended less than half the time. There is no industry in the world where a 42% success rate would be considered acceptable. I'm not a software engineer or anything like that, so I don't know the ins and outs of it, but it seems to me that whatever parameters YouTube is setting for identifying inappropriate content are either too strict or too complex for their automatic processes to handle. If you have a rule that you can't enforce fairly, then you should get rid of the rule, because having it isn't accomplishing anything other than creating uncertainty and confusion among the people trying to follow it. 
To a certain extent, I imagine this is out of YouTube's hands and is probably the result of potential advertisers putting pressure on them. They don't want to lose out on money any more than we do. But if the system is working as well in general as it is for me specifically, then the majority of the content being clamped down on for the sake of these advertisers is stuff they'd be totally fine with anyway. It doesn't really make a whole lot of sense, and if it were my decision to make, I'd hold off on implementing these rules until the technology is there to properly enforce them. And maybe there could be some sort of middle tier between YouTube Kids and regular old YouTube that automatically filters out inappropriate content but keeps the core site functionality? I don't know. I guess I don't have too much to offer in the way of practical solutions, but I uh, kind of just wanted to vent. Anyway, regular programming will resume shortly, and remember, 